Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Last time we left off, we need to go to four very specific locations to reignite the flames. Next we gotta go to the Tranquil Grotto. Um, also a few people on the previous episode mentioned that, uh, yeah, the reason the notes aren't here is because I picked them up last time. I, <laughs> it was a very stupid mistake. I was getting this mixed up with, um, another game I'm playing and another game I'm playing where when we pick notes up, specifically after image, uh, when I pick notes up in that game, they don't go into my inventory. They stay at a particular location. Um, so I was thinking about that, forgetting that we do actually get to pick them up. Hmm. In, uh, in this game, which is nice. Much, much prefer actually being able to pick the notes up so I can reread them rather than having to go back to the location I saw the note at and reread it there. So. Out of my way. Alrighty. Let's get going. Alright, we're over here. I guess we can start showing at this point because we might run into some new shadow enemies and Let's stuff. I mean, it, it, I believe they're just the same as, like, any regular enemies we would run into. They just possibly have, like, increased stats, I'm assuming. So, it's it doesn't really need to be shown, no, but, you know, it's, it's fine. Oh yeah, I didn't heal before last time. Oopsie. At least we didn't have a boss fight last time, so I doubt we have a boss fight this time either. Demon Jellyfish has some serious HP, though. Uh, you have stabs. There you go. And you have an axe. Beautiful. Now Hikadi can just kill it. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Will it, Hikadi? Is that so? We need to heal up uh, Hikadi's SP a little here. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And into the Tranquil Grotto we go. So I imagine this we're going to be finding out about Kazan, right? Possibly? Are there also going to be more notes here? Or was that just a Felsun Ruin thing? That might have just been a Felsun Ruin thing. Because <clears throat> I was wondering here if we were going to have notes specifically written by Kazan, but it seems like no. That is not going to be happening. Tissue. Uh, sure, hit him with a blessing. There we go. That's not bad damage. And hit him with a windy refrain. They should die probably after Hikati's turn here. Uh, Warrior's Blade. Make a skewer. We don't have like a hit every one attack anymore, unfortunately, unless I use one of these. So... You know, let's just attack this one. Thinking time. And then hopefully Oswald can just finish the rest off. Thank you. Study harder. Beautiful. Getting a whole bunch of shadow soul stones. From these fights, for obvious reasons. Uh, it's a little bit harder to remember. Okay, I think we go this way. It's harder to remember the abs actual path through this place when it's all foggy. Strike them go ahead and die for me, jellyfish. You're not wanted here. Beautiful. And let's just go ahead and stun this thing. I don't feel like dealing with it. My turn. Fuddling jaws? How dare. There we go. There's no need for flattery. Basically every single time we get to Hikadi's turn, the fight is just over. Which I am very, very much down for. Alright. A little bit more. Was it this way? Yeah, it's this way. And over here. And across here. And then up here. Oh hey, it's another demon deer. It's interesting because they they they've chosen very specific enemies um, to be the ones that are shadow enemies. The demon deer, the peekaboo here, the, the horse flies. <laughs> the horse flies are in on it. Those jackasses are in on this. Um, 
just use one of those. There we go. And Hikari. Go ahead, finish things. There's no need for flat. We're almost at the end here, so. Sword. Now the question becomes, are we gonna hop into a battle or I don't think we are. We didn't for the last one, so. I'm going to assume no. Alright. Let's go ahead and use our mirror. Yep. Inventory. Shiny mirror. It was hope that drove me. Drove me to live. To survive. Drove me away from death's clutches. To guide others along the same path. But hope... Hope was a mistake. There is nothing worth living for. Nothing in this cruel, unsightly world. There is no dawn worth waiting for. There you are. What would you give to see the morrow, Lord Ageha? This is the one I actually did see coming, so... Kazan. Why did you betray us? You lifted up Lord Mugen to the throne, then you tore him down from it. <laughs> An eagle must hide his talons. It was the only way to catch my true quarry. The Dark Blood Blade. Yep. The sacred treasure of Clan Ku. Not an easy thing to steal. Not so long as Mugen stood in my way. So I cut him down. With Hikari's sword. <sighs> you. What are you? For years, I have hidden my intentions from Ku. My very name. But now you shall know it. Oboro. Yep, yep, we found your journal just laying around, Oboro. <laughs> All I did, I did to prevent the tide of darkness that waits on the morrow from reaching us. Within this blade slumbers the power of the shadow. The power to quench the flames. However, such a feat cannot be accomplished without a sacrifice. blood of Darkest. If not for its taint, we may have seen a desert free from the stain of crimson. And now, I end this. Mm. Hikari. Goodbye, old friend. This world's end calls to me. Soon, you shall have the world you envisioned. A world without bloodshed. For oblivion shall bring peace. <sighs> That's not the decision you get to make for everyone, though. The second flame burns anew. I hear them mowing outside and I'm a little bit worried. Hopefully that wasn't picking up on the mic or anything. Here's hoping. Kazan. Mugen's rebellion, the raising of the city, even my ascent to the throne. Were they all just more of your plots? 
Were we all playing into your hands? How many of my friends died because of you? Ikari. For since I was a child, I spoke with him about the future I envisioned. A future without bloodshed. Were our ideals so different? Why did he do this? He sees this as an end to bloodshed, because it's just an end of, li of life altogether. <clears throat> he aims to bring an end to the world. We have to stop him, together. We will. We'll lead everyone toward the dawn. We will do just that. Alright, so that's it for the Tranquil Grotto. Off, uh, to the Tomb of the Warden Beasts, I suppose. Oh. The, the, the bad, the bad starts here, apparently. I guess Tomb of the Warden Beast is kind of like a single area for the most part. Um, I also saw someone mention that apparently if we had went to, what was it? Um, I think it was if we went to Crack Ridge and looked in the, <clears throat> in the bar there, we could have seen Ori. Basically preparing to go to the Felsun Ruins. Um, but now that we've stopped this, uh, she's gone. Apparently, according to somebody else, though, if I check after I finish this, she will be there. Um, as far as I understand, we can't talk to her or anything. It's just, she's there. Clearly foreshadowing that she's uh, going to be there. Ori just seems to show up a lot of places um, across the game, basically. Like, if you're paying attention, and I'm, I'm sure it would be very interesting to see on a second playthrough all the different locations that Ori is around, basically. Alright. So, let's go ahead and drop a save here. And... Oh, hey. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's been sitting there for a while. I'll do that probably has nothing worthwhile in it. Oh, hey, these are new. No, the Shadowy Rat King. <laughs> I have not seen much of you. And also... The shadowy animated armor. Well, the animated armor is very, very dead. Um, and now the ratkin is too. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. Yeah, that treasure chest is hanging down there. It's probably got like an incredibly weak weapon in it. Let's, let's go check it. The composite bow. Yeah, I'm thinking that's an incredibly weak weapon. Oh my god, yeah, no, we missed that in, like, Ochet's first chapter. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hello, composite bow. Ooh, more birdian. Er, not birdian, um, ratkin. Jeez. I know words, I am good. Pierce that. Okay, Agnia can go ahead and drop one of these because you're actually weak to it. Good. And then you're also going to be weak to a blessing. There you go. You're very cute. You're for it now. For the pride of Ku. Alright. And after this, we're only gonna have one more of these cutscenes left, and then I imagine I'm going to be going to like some sort of final area to to do a to do a super super final boss or something. Mm -hmm. Guessing that's the case. All right, we're way. almost over there. Oh God! No, then. Furious fungoids. I don't like those things. They're creepy. <laughs> Strike them down. Do not like them one bit. Thinking time. Strike them down. Oh well, at least they're gonna be dying. Right now! You're in for it now. Who's next? Oh, hey, you're still alive. Um The wind's a favor play. I'm just getting warm. Think we up. should be good here. Oh. Stupid tanky bastard. I guess I could have used the staff with uh, Particio. Might have made my life a little bit easier. Okay, okay, we're done though. Ooh, the sense of danger is it really? Okay, hold the phone. We haven't had a actual battle yet. Huh. 
Okay. Yeah? Paul? Hmm. Grotesque monster. Yeah, you got that right. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and conjure it's ice on everyone. Now then. Okay, and let's see, I could we're already going first. Uh next time, so that's not really super needed. Um Let's lion dance, Ikati. Prepare yourself. And you do a deep analysis. Okay, axes and bows. Dark spawn. Ew! Oh god, I hate them. Um, I'm imagining I can probably do one of these. There we go, you are actually weak to that. Um, okay, we can work towards Alifan's wisdom. Uh, two turns grant allies S SP to allies after their actions. That's pretty good. We already have the conjure ice. Let's just go ahead and hit the boss. Rude. Okay, so now we give you an Alephan's wisdom. Don't do that. Yeah, I don't like it one bit. Okay. Um. Hmm. Probably want to go ahead and hit you with a critical scope, if I had to guess. My turn. This thing is creepy because it looks like it has egg sacs on its like stomach, and that's where the babies are coming off from. Like it basically shed a few eggs there. Um. Flurry of arrows. I do have that. If you break even one foe, this attack will trigger again. Interesting. Okay. And you got lowered critical rate out of that. And I can break you. Okay. Yeah, you're you're definitely going down probably this one's for me. Next turn here. Alright. Agnea. Go ahead and wind your frame for us. Hikari. Hienka. Hienka. Oh my god. Well, the thing's almost dead now. <laughs> you poor thing. 56 JP, I'll take it. Now it begins. Alright. Go ahead and give them a lion axe. Lionheart axe on the hunt. I mean, I see no reason to keep you alive. There we go. God, you're absurd. You're so absurd, Hikari. Alright, now we just gotta defeat the children. Bye bye. Uh, one of those. Wow, they actually have some pretty good amount of HP. Oh well, this is totally overkill, but. That's the answer. I've gained valuable insights. Ooh, a black bow. Okay, so we do actually have boss fights at these things occasionally. What does this black bow do? Slim chance to instantly kill the target, and it's not super strong, quite frankly. So, I mean, that's an interesting effect, I guess. That should do to the charitable. Let the mirror shine. You're not glowy, though. Weird. I expected them to be glowy like the others have been. Nothing happened. The two gods gaze upon the Sacred Flame's dais. Deus. Sacred Flame has been doused. Perhaps it can be rekindled with something. What's this? Nothing happened. Huh. Sacred Flame has been doused. Perhaps it can be rekindled with something. Was I not supposed to come here next? Yeah, the dais, I mean... Did I not... It's telling me, it's even telling me use this. Nothing happens. Hmm. Okay, the second flame's been doused. Perhaps it can be rekindled with something. So, my idea... Is that we go here to the cathedral first. 
And something at the cathedral will allow me to, to reignite it, basically. Is my logic? It's quiet. Too quiet. I didn't expect to get... Um, a cutscene here. Like, maybe we can get a kindling from the sacred flame itself and take it back there to rekindle that one. But this smell... It's the scent of humans. They're frightened. Hiding. Someone's coming. Mint! Is that you, Temenos? Out for a stroll in a place like this? You always did have the habit of sticking your nose in places it doesn't belong. I knew Mint- I- I had a feeling Mint was evil. I remember mentioning at one point, I'm like, is Mint evil? Yes. Yes, it seems Mint is indeed evil. A friend of yours, Temenos? In a manner of speaking, but something's odd. Failed to see what was in front of you. The shadow is ever by thy side. <laughs> Just what are you? This is an inquisition. Refuse to answer and... Attempting to conquer others with threats of violence will always fail. Those who are subdued by strength cannot help but rebel. To conquer them, truly conquer them, you must subjugate their hearts and minds. Hearken to the shadows in their hearts. What are you talking about? People are desperate for a place to belong. Give it to them, and they cannot bear to live anywhere else. And then, their hearts and minds are yours. Their hearts and minds? Humans are foolish by their very nature. Centuries pass, and yet, they remain the same. Bold words for someone so young. <laughs> Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk. For the light shall fade. And soon, night shall fall. The teachings of the Moonshade Order. No, it can't be. Since you are so dogged in your search for the truth, allow me to help you. My true name is Arcanet. Yeah, I believe when the name Arcanet was dropped, I was like, there's a third one, and I'm like, who could that be? Is it Mint? So, I guess I guessed correctly there. And I am the leader of the Moonshade Order. The same order that slaughtered the Call. All so that I could steal the flame. That's impossible. The massacre of the Call was decades ago. And the Moonshade Order's origins are older still. It's not impossible. There are old souls out there that hide behind youthful faces. Thanks to Caldina's efforts, the Book of Night is now in my possession. 
That girl was so eager to be a puppet. She didn't realize the strings were held by her sworn enemy. The Pontiff knew who you were. He was going to tell me, but his life was cut short. I had hoped he would be more stricken. How dull. Such has ever been your nature. Your face always a classic mask. But I suppose it matters not. This world's end draws nigh. That staff. Once, long ago, night was invited into the world. But a loathsome few drove it away. Those events will not repeat themselves again. You stole the futures of untold innocence. Did I? Then you should thank me. This world is cruel. Monstrous. With not a single mote of joy to be found amongst the misery. Don't you see? Roy, Pontiff Yorg. Yes, and even Crick. They knew. They knew the beauty of a dawn that would never come. Quiet. I won't allow you to sully their names with such blasphemy. You will answer for your sins, Arcanet. And I'll ensure the world they hoped for comes to pass. <laughs> At last, Temenos' mask falls off. Alright, I, I called it mint. I mean Arcanet. Alright, it's all it's always it's always the, the unsuspicious ones. Well Ori wasn't really suspicious, Arcanet wasn't really suspicious, Kazan was suspicious as hell. <laughs> so Yeah, um that was the that was the thing. Uh okay. Um I do not know what you're weak to yet. Let's analyze you. Ice. Good to know. Let's go ahead and just get the other ones. Okay, not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and... Windy Refrain here. Thank you. You're gonna be going last, friend. Um, how about... We hit you with one of these. Hey, 63 JP. Oh, it's only 63. I expected more. Oh well. Um, let's conjure ice on everyone. The winds of winter. Oh dear. Back in the night. Okay, so you have ants, servant of the night. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Alephans was done myself. Alephan. All right. And dagger dance. Let's see. They're already going after me, so there's no point in doing that. Let's see, are they weak to this? They are. Dagger. That's what we need to go with. Prepare your Noted. You're in for it now. Good stuff. Bring it on. And okay, they're still going. Um let's go ahead and use Um let's see, what is this? Can I reach the cells that only target to use for all allies? Yeah, let's use that. So she has augments will affect the entire party. Power of Night. Don't like that. You stop that. Thank you. Um, and Oswald, go ahead and take a pomegranate. Hikari. Um, this six fold strike again. It'll do okay damage. Alright, Particio. 
So we have access to a few things with you. Um, I can go ahead and rest to give everyone some stuff. Take a nap, everyone. Here we go. Offering of the night. Uh-oh. Not excited about that. Um, break this thing. And hopefully kill it here. Be refrain. There's not much, hope, not much reason in doing that. We need to kill this thing so I can break you. You are weak to that. Good. Um, sidestep for everyone. Okay. And you don't have access to daggers. Uh, Oswald, you could do that. I gotta get rid of this stupid thing. Um. Hmm. Yeah. And if that's wind, then it would have to be darkness or light that it's weak to. I mean, I guess let's just drop a, uh, a wind soul stone, L. That was enough to kill it. Good. Okay, that hurt a pretty good amount. You're not using physical attacks, obviously. Okay, well. Um, with that, how about we go ahead and Lion Dance Ikati. And then we can start working on some of these things. So... Lionheart. That's good damage. Oswald. Go ahead and one true magic. That was only 7,500 damage. That leaves a lot to be desired. That's fine. Cute. Uh, you don't have anything. I guess you could just hit with one of these. Help them, ice. There we go. Yeah, Oswald's damage just cannot keep up with the Kadis right now. Um, let's see. You have increased attack, Ikari. I really need to give you. Let's honestly just use a basket. It's my turn now. Um, Lion Dance is still on Hikari. Extend the duration of single spots as I expect this by one turn. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess let's, uh, wait, it says extend the duration of a single ally's positive status effects by one turn. This does not affect divine skills, but it's using it on everyone? Together, I'm not using my latent power, and... You do not have the CLT seduction bonus. Is this another mistranslation? Um. I think that might be another mistranslation. Uh, weird. Alrond. So what is. What. You know, what does Alrond do? In over your head, Patricio. Oh. Now it begins. Oh, okay. Okay, people were saying Alrond was really good for grinding. Now I can see why. Um, okay. Alright, Arcanet. Ten times JP. That's... That's pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna Bewildering Grace because I don't want to die and we have Alrond anyway. Why not just use Alrond? Um, so... I wonder if it's just JP or if you can do XP as well. Because, uh, XP I would not mind getting. But, I don't know. I should have just used the extension thing, but whatever. Okay, you can only summon Alvarond once, it seems. Okay. Negotiate schedule. Grant a single ally. So, this is something that someone said was, uh... Miss Shen too. It affects everybody. It says, grant a single ally 50% of your remaining SP. It gives it to everyone. So not only is Song of Hope mistranslated, this is also mistranslated. XP times two. Alrond retreated. Okay, I'm down with XP times two. That's nice. So Alrond gets to do two things before he leaves. That's neat. Okay. Well, um, I guess hit you with another one of those. I could have used my latent power, actually. 
All right, Hikari on the hunt. There we go. All right, we got some fungoids to deal with. All right, I'll save our run now. We already we already have our good buffs. So, is your stuff uh, currently? We just have guaranteed evasion of attacks. So we need to redo the seal of diffusion here. All right, Agnia. Whoa, your SP went over max too. It can also take their SP over max. What? Oh, that's so stupid. Why does this game mistranslate so many of the skills? There's not even that many skills. Prepare <laughs> yourself. There's not even that many. Just do it right. Okay. Yeah, that's not hurting you. Um. I actually don't think I want to use up this. I would rather wait a turn and let Agnia Song of Hope me again. There we go. So yeah, my buffs can just... Wait, no, it didn't use it on everyone. So it targets everyone, but it picks a random character? Is that what happens? Because yeah, Oswald did not get... Oh wait, no, it said it didn't affect... It didn't affect divine skills. And Alephan's Wisdom is a divine skill. So that must be what's going on there. But it doubled everybody else's? I, I, it's hard to tell at this particular moment. Um, Sentencing Gavel. There we go. And Particio. Go ahead and let everyone take a nap. I just turn. Give us. Oh. Well, I'm glad I had those dodges. Wow. Okay. Um. Feeling great bunch. And you don't have like a good heal, do you? You do not. Um. And when do your refrain causes my allies to act first on the next turn? I hope I'm gonna need to healing grape again. Really great bunch specifically. Hopefully this keeps us alive. We can dodge physical attacks, so might work. Okay, we got poison. That's not the biggest deal in the world. Um I don't need to do that. Let's do two and rest for everybody. Okay, god, that rest is stupid. That just makes Hikari the or er, er, uh Hikari. Um Particio the best healer in the game. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so strong. All right, sentencing gavel. There we go. They're broken. Um, I want you to go ahead, Wendy. Refrain. Good. Um, Particio. We don't need to summon Alrond again. Um, hard help. Sidestep. Could give everybody uh, some more sidesteps. That's probably a good call. Yeah, let's uh do that. God, Particio is so good. So that's what allows you to use your super attack is when uh, you like basically consume one of the uh, one of the monsters here. Um, well, I will obviously want to save my other thing. Let's sentence and gavel again. Okay, that's enough to kill it. Good. So now, I wish you were weak to. The daggers. That would be so, so nice. Unfortunately, you are not. So... Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Um... Let's you with this. You might actually be dying soon. Um... Let's, uh, critical scope you. Alright, Oswald. One true magic. There we go. You're dead. I was gonna steal a turn with Particio if that didn't work out. And a hey, 5200 XP and 12,000 JP. Oh, oh, Alrond. I love you. And so we arrive at this moment. That we do. Are you truly so desperate to see the dawn? 
I see now that the Pontiff was not the true threat. It was you. Temenos. You, a dagger sharpened to a razor's edge. Claude's masterwork. Mm hmm <laughs> I can see it. The collar around that thin neck of yours. A collar? You will never be free. <laughs> Okay, just die, you stupid creep. Even if I fall here, nothing will end. And there, always near. Soon, night shall fall. Farewell, Mint. See, and like, there's no point to even, like, you get no satisfaction out of actually taking these people out, because that's basically what they want. They want to die. They're super nihilists, so... Your days <sighs> of meddling are over. It's okay, Timonos, because doubt is what you do. Soon night shall fall. Yeah, we've heard this about 60 million times across this playthrough. I'd say night has fallen. Currently. From the looks of it, it already has. <laughs> Great minds think of light, Throne. If this isn't night, then... Alright, well, we have some serious JP to spend, um, so I think we're gonna do that, and then we're probably gonna end this episode off here. So, Conjurer... Um, we learned that... Is that it? No. It... Is that it? We... Are not done. <laughs> we still have Dreyfindi's bow. And then we're done, so we still need JP for a little bit longer. But not much longer. Okay, okay, well, um, let's, let's go ahead and spend everybody's points here, because I see no reason not to. Um, god, yeah, Particio's so stupid on that class. It's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. You're just the best healer now, because you heal SP and, um, you heal, you heal SP and HP, which is just amazing, quite frankly. Okay, so all that Agnia has left is just, um, uh, what was it? Hunter? Puppy carry? One, one, of, one of those. Um, Particio, what do you got left? You have all of Conjurer. There we go. Uh, oh, I could have learned the last few things for you with Arcanist. Whoopsie. Well, whatever. 32,000 on Hikari. All right, Hikari, learned all the skills for you. So now, if I need extra defenses, that Fruits of Labor thing is gonna be godlike. We're rapidly hitting the point where I just don't even need JP anymore. So, we're, yeah. There we go. So you just have Arcanist left, Hikari. But yeah, we're rapidly hitting the point where I just don't need JP anymore, period. Um, so it's just all XP from this point. Alrighty, well, uh, I do believe we're gonna be switching to the other party, um, in preparation for next time, but, uh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you then.